All right, well, hello everyone. Uh, I am here with Dee Dee Sharon, our lead servant for homeless care that we just commissioned a couple weeks ago. And uh, Dee Dee is organizing the administration of our partnership with Family Promise. And so Dee Dee, uh, thank you for meeting with me here on Zoom. Good to be here. All right, and uh, uh, what are we looking at this week as far as the families that are in Family Promise? Um, who, will we, who, who will we be caring for this week? Well, it starts on March 13th, uh, a week from this Sunday. Um, and currently right now there are two families, um, a total of three adults and six children. One of them is a teenager, the rest are under 10. Okay. So a good group of people that'll be there, but that can always change at the last minute. Okay, okay. So right now, uh, three adults, teenager, six kids total, that's great. Um, and, and thank you for clarifying that date. That's March 13th through the 19th. 19th. Okay, great. Uh -huh. uh, and so I think now there's some more ways that Family Promise is asking churches to um, kind of partner with them and help them out with these weeks. Um, you want to explain to us any changes that have happened or more opportunities that we now have uh, as a church? Sure. Um, in addition to um, providing the meals through the home groups that we do and also um, using overnight volunteers. They're asking now for us to provide breakfast and lunch for the week. Okay. Um, but the difference is that we provide all of it that first Sunday of our week. And so I'm asking people to just um, bring all that stuff that if they sign up for it okay. um, to church that Sunday the 13th and then I'll deliver it as one big package. Okay. Um, and they've also asked for any kind of gift cards that people might be willing to give that would cover things that um, maybe cleaning supplies or food that wasn't provided. Um, so we're, we're leaving that as an option as well. Okay. And you have, do you have a list of the items or the food items that would be good to, to uh, bring to the church on Sunday, March 13th? Yeah. I kind of just came up with a list myself. They didn't provide one. Okay. But I just thought of some various um, breakfast and lunch foods that might be easy for, for them to prepare and stuff, because I'm sure they're busy trying to get to work in school. So I've okay. got a list that um, I'll have at church on Sunday so people can sign up for specific items to bring. Great. Okay. And they can sign up this Sunday, which is March um, 6th, and, Six. then, and then the March mm -hmm. 13th date. So on March 13th, um, they can bring food for breakfast, lunch, cleaning supplies, those kinds of things to the church, and you'll deliver that. The community groups have already signed up for the meal plans for the dinners, and there's also the option of staying overnight. And right now, there's a lot of open spots for that overnight stay, correct? That's right. I just have two nights filled right now, and we, so that leaves another five that okay. are open. All right. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, and so that's something that we really want to encourage um, all of us to be a part of. And uh, so if you can, if you have the availability to give a night of your time uh, to just stay at the uh, location, um, you can work from there. There's Wi-Fi there. You can, um, you'll be able to sleep there. And just any other questions about that, you can contact Dee Dee. Um, but uh, we would just really strongly encourage you to please um, participate in that way. And you get to meet the families. Um, my family will usually stay overnight and we'll bring all of our kids and we'll pack in that room. Uh, but our kids get to play with the other kids. And so it's a great time, uh, just to let, let them connect with some other kids and, and have a good time. So, uh, yeah, I think, uh, with that being said, is there any other, any other points that we want to get announced? Um, any other emphases and emphases that we want to make? Um, not really. I, I did want to mention that, um, they have changed a little bit the area where the volunteers stay overnight. So now, um, well, the bedroom is the same, but you kind of have your own private bathroom area. So yeah. that is a little bit different. Okay. And um, you can always get your best friend to stay with you that night or whatever, play games and just have a good night out. So okay, it's usually a lot of fun and it's always rewarding to get to know the families. Yeah, good, good. All right, that's great. 
Well, thank you, Didi, uh, for giving us this announcement. We'll have more details coming up at the family gathering, which is coming up this Sunday, March 6th. And so um, please be, and you can sign up for all those food items and cleaning supplies and overnight stays that'll, that, that'll all be available this coming Sunday. Uh, and with that, I think that is the announcement that we wanted to get out to you. And so please sign up, please partner with us as we love the homeless families of Effingham County well. And um, we just want to, uh, as they work towards getting back into a place where they can thrive and flourish as a family. So uh, let's continue to show the love of Jesus in that way. So thank you, Didi, for leading us in this. And uh, we'll all hopefully right. um, get all that we need. Thanks, Ben.